stacking, damage reduction, is there a wrong way to build LR Tech Gohan and Piccolo? How's it everybody, Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking a look at the LR Gohan exchange with Piccolo. This is the part two LR from this Planet Namek Saga celebration. And we do wanna try to figure out what may be the best hidden potential for them. So easiest way to do that is of course, take a look at their kit. So let's start with the leader skill, Planet Namek Saga, Bottom Master and Disciple 150. Pretty standard for yellow coin LRs. On his 18 key, he massively raises attack and defense for the turn. But on his 12 key, he is raising attack and defense infinitely. So you do want to prioritize that 12 key when safe to do so. On his passive, he has attack and defense 200% plus an additional 150% when performing super attack. He reduces damage received by 30% and gives allies key 4. And transform a critical hit 30%. And launches an additional attack that has a 50% chance of becoming a super attack for three turns from his entry turn. He gets key three and damage reduction by 30% and chance for a critical hit as the first attacker on the turn. Um, he reduces damage received by 20% and now has a chance of performing critical hit 20% when there's another Namek Saga or Namekians category ally attacking in the same turn. He recovers with 20% HP at the turn. Now, he does have an active skill that he can activate when 70% or less, or starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle, or starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle. So we do have to, we do have two ways we can sort of get that passive up for him so now that we've taken a look at what he's doing as a gohan we need to see what he's doing as the piccolo so piccolo everything is relatively the same still massively raising attack and defense on his 18 key massively raising it now on his or no just regular raising on his 18 or on his 12 key rather now his passive gives him key 8 attack and defense 250 percent he gets an additional attack 150 percent when performing super attack he has a high chance of performing a critical hit. He launches an additional attack that has a 70% chance of becoming a super attack. And he has an additional key four and launches an additional super attack starting from the turn in which he receives an attack. He also gets uh, HP 70% or more at the start of the turn, plus an additional damage reduction 20% and all allies 70% defense. Now, he does get uh, an extra buff when he's 70% or less at the start of the turn. He evades the enemy's attack. And... And from the next attacking turn onward, he has a high chance of evading the enemy's attack. So, pretty useful tool there. And then, finally, he closes out by recovering 25% at the end of each turn, which is a lot. So... Guy's kind of doing it all. So the question is, what should we build his hidden potential? Well, I mean, if we look at the hidden potential guide over on the Dokkan Wiki, shout out to those guys, we can see that as a tech type, naturally he will lead into the uh, the the critical hit route. But we don't really need critical hit on him right if you fully invested critical hit on him you would get up to 40 percent possibly 50 depending on your skill orbs but that's not really what we want with him he has built-in crit so the options now are combo attack additional attack and evasion so i would personally say the extra attacks off the 12 key are really huge for making um vegeta or making him work on uh, teams like Vegeta's team where he's not sharing too many key links he can really prioritize that uh, 12 key super to continuously raise so combo attacks are really important there the other thing I'm noting why they could be important right on teams like Beast Gohans or other teams where they are getting a lot of key from support and from their links, this helps them proc a sec that extra super when you know you're going to be getting aids and key. So really, there's no reason not to have additionals on these guys. It's probably the best, uh, the 
the, the best way forward for them. So as a tech type, you fully invest in them. You can get 15 up to uh, 25, which would be exactly a 50% extra chance to do so. Now, I would go with probably evasion for his sub, right? So additional sub evasion, because of course, right, he doesn't need the crit, so may as well take something that can be useful. Dodging an attack will be pretty useful to this guy. So definitely would go with that here. So is it for the video that is, um, recommendation for the hidden potential for the gohan and piccolo i do think additionals is probably the best way to go though i wouldn't necessarily say you were wrong for going dodge just understand that you would have a lower chance of performing that critical hit if you do so i would definitely or that additional attack rather so i would definitely maybe prioritize fully additionals with them over anything else and then uh you can use skill orbs to kind of up your dodge chances right it's really helpful too because piccolo has his own kind of dodges here um when once he comes out so i mean it's yeah i definitely think that's probably a way to go so guys that is it for the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let us know how did you build your Gohan and Piccolo if you decided to summon for them? But if you didn't, let us know how you would consider building these guys. Would you go the additionals route? Would you go the dodge route? Let us know in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching and aloha.